there! I hope you are having an awesome day! Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the basic structure of a main menu in Unity. This tutorial is meant for a complete Unity beginner, so it's not going to look very pretty, but it will be functional. Now, just for reference, I'm using Unity version 2021.3.7f1. Now, before we get started, I just want to make sure that I have the TextMess Pro Unity package installed. And I can check that by going up to Window, Package Manager. Make sure we're looking in the Unity registry for packages. Click on 2D so that all of our 2D packages will show. And then we'll scroll down and we should find, there we go, Text Mesh Pro. And as you can see, I currently have it installed. The first thing we need in creating our main menu is a canvas. So I'm going to come over here to the hierarchy, I'm going to right click, come down to UI, and select Canvas. And there we go, we have a blank canvas game object to work with. Now I'm going to back up really quick because I could have also right-clicked, gone to UI, and selected Image. And this also gives us a canvas. And I'm actually going to go with this option because it gives us our image game object, which I'm going to use for the background. And in order to fill our canvas with this image, I'm going to come over here to the image uh, inspector. I'm going to left-click on this box, I'm going to hold the Alt key, and then I'm going to come down here in the corner and select this box with all the arrows facing in all directions. And that will fill our canvas. Now that looks a little bit bright, so I'm going to drag this down and make it gray. Now that we have our canvas, why don't we add a title? So I'm going to right click on the canvas, come down to UI, and select Text, Text Mesh Pro. And look at that. You see here, Text Mesh Pro, Text Mesh Pro, Text Mesh Pro. This is why we installed that package earlier. So I'm going to click on Text, and I'm going to name this game Title. And I like to name my game objects. Uh, this is just a good practice to keep your hierarchy uh, organized. So I named it in the hierarchy. And now I'm going to come over here to the inspector, and I'm going to change the actual title. So let's say Awesome. Going to change the text to black. I'm going to scale it up a bit, and I'm going to disable wrapping. We're going to move it up and put a center in as well. Now as close as we can. Now we have our title. The next thing we need to add are our buttons. In order to do that, I'm going to come back over to the canvas. I'm going to left click, then I'm going to right click, and again. Come down to UI, and this time I'm going to select Button, Text Mesh Pro. And there you have a button. So we have our button, but it's a little bit small. Why don't we scale it up? We'll say two, two, two. And now let's quickly go over the components of the button. So first we have the button component, an image component, and under the button component we can add an on-click event but that'll come in just a minute. We also have a text object of the button, and this is where we change the actual text on the button. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this uh, button title in the hierarchy. I'm gonna call this start, oops, start game button, just to keep things organized. And now I'm going to change the actual text on the button. We'll call it start game. And there we are. Now we have our start game button. Move this up a bit. Now currently, if I go ahead and press play, not much is going to happen. You can see I can click, but nothing's happening. Why don't we go ahead and fix that? Now in order to make our button functional, we're going to need to add a script. Now luckily, I just happen to have a script already written. So I'll come down here to my scripts folder, and I happen to name this script main menu controller. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here, and we can take a look at it. 
Now, as you can see, I got rid of the start and update functions because we won't be needing them. Before we go any further, I want to call out two things. When you're writing your script, make sure you're using unityengine.ui and using unityengine.scene management. This will allow us to actually change scenes and make our menu functional. So you see here, I added a start game function. This start game function will directly control our start game button. And all the code I've written in here is scene manager load scene. So we're using the load scene function from the scene manager class. And this number in parentheses is in reference to my build index. So when we press the start button, we will load the scene at index one. Now that we have the script for our start game button, why don't we go ahead and implement it? We're gonna come back up to our canvas object and we're going to add the main menu controller script to our canvas. Now you could drag and drop this on, but I like to search for it. There we have main menu controller. Now that we have our main menu controller script attached to our canvas, we're going to come down to our button. And remember I uh, mentioned the on click event? Well, we're about to add one where it says on click. It will say list is empty to add this plus button or click the plus button excuse me and by default runtime only should be selected and now you see here it's looking for a game object for us to plug in well the game object that we're going to plug in is our canvas because that is the game object that has our main menu controller script and once we plug in our canvas you'll see this uh, drop down menu here is available now. So we'll click on the drop down menu. And you see we have a few different options here, but look at that. All the way at the bottom is our main menu controller script. And when I hover over this, we get a few more options. We're looking at, hey, this looks familiar. There's our start game function. So I will click on that. And now the start game function in our script is now connected to our start game button. And now when I press play, we should have a functioning button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And look at that, there we go. Our scene is loaded. And now in order to make the other buttons, we're just gonna follow the same exact steps. As a matter of fact, now that we have one button all set up, I can just go ahead, select our button, hit Control D to duplicate. We can move it down so it's a little bit clearer. And we can already use the script that's set up. So I'm going to name this Controls Menu Button. I'm going to change the text. you'll see that our script is already set up. And I'm gonna go ahead and open our script again. And now all I'll need to do is create a new function for the controls menu. So I'm gonna say public void controls menu. And you can name this whatever you would like. I'm just using generic names. And now in this function, we would say C And let's pretend our controls menu is at index three. We'll say index three. We'll go ahead and save. And now, of course, I don't have controls menu set up. However, if we were to exit and hit play, I would be able to click on the controls menu. And now you see that that went to our old scene and I'll show you why that happened. So I'm gonna go back to our button. In the inspector, go to our button component. 
in our on-click event, since I duplicated the button, it's still, the start game function is still selected. So that is a good thing to remember. If you are going to duplicate your button, make sure to change the function that the button is connected to. So in our case, it would be controls menu. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, what you're seeing here is actually a main menu from a side project that I'm currently working on. It's a little bit more advanced than the one I'm sh showing in my tutorial. Um, the buttons move a little bit and it just looks a little bit nicer, but the same basic principles are there. This is my first attempt at a tutorial. I figured I'd pick something relatively basic. If you found it helpful, or if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, uh, please feel free to reach out. I always welcome feedback. Um, and if it helped you, uh, please leave a comment. I would love to hear that it helped. That would, that would just be awesome. If you want to see more, please, please feel free to subscribe and make sure to head over to my Instagram as well. I'm definitely posting more frequently there. Thank you so much again, and I sincerely hope you have an awesome day, everybody.